Roll call, Mr. Blanton? Here. Mr. Reininger? Here. Mr. Robinson? Here. Okay. Uh, since I thought I didn't do We got a request from the Legion again for we give them eight hundred dollars each year and for their ceremony of Memorial Day and new motion to approve this is we've been doing it for as long as I've been here. Right, a long time. Yeah. And make it a motion. I make a motion to go ahead and approve the normal amount we sent to them out. Comes out of the committee, the Duke community fund. Yeah. I will second. Mr. Blanton? Yes. Mr. Reininger? Yes. Mr. Robinson? Yes. Okay. And then uh, the uh, uh, resolution 2023-04, which is, we had that meeting here at the, with the solid waste management plan. They did the plan. We always ride piggyback their plan, and they're wanting us to approve the resolution is uh, to approve the update. They update it every couple of years. They want to us to approve the update of the solid waste management plan for Hamilton County. And we just try to piggyback with them. Otherwise, we have to have our own plan that's required by Hamilton County. So I'll make a motion we approve the update. And basically, they just change some of the fees as well. I'll second. All right, Mr. Blanton? Yes. Mr. Reininger? Yes. Mr. Robinson? Yes. Okay. And, uh, December 31st, our, our waste levy expires, and uh, we need to go back out for it. We have a, uh, a template to send out. We pick up at probably 4,019 houses in the township from Rumpke, and uh, we need to rebid the contract. Rumpke anticipates Two to three percent increases, which is really good. Initially, they talked about fifteen percent increase. Didn't they, Cindy? Yeah, but I guess I misunderstood. Yeah, so it was over the whole contract, yeah. not so just. So I talked to Dean Furrier, and he said, "If you're going to you're going to bid it, it's come, uh, probably be in the area of three percent." So uh, all he that, said two to three. Two to three percent. It depends on right. And what what the base rate is. So. And I sent you guys an email. The reason I want to move on this is because I can't. We have. We have to go on a levy in November. I need to know, do we need to increase the levy? So I kind of need to know what we're going to be paying the next five years, four years. So I can do the numbers. So I know what, because it's a, you know it's a two month process to go on the levy. So that's kind of why we need to move on this. So I'd like to make a motion that we go ahead and give Cindy the authority to put this out for uh, a bid. I'll second. Okay, Mr. Blanton? Yes. Mr. Reininger? Yes. Mr. Robinson? Yes. And Kim, I'll get with you tomorrow. Okay. And the only other thing I had is, is that I, I wish it had taken so long. I, I wanted to, I think the board should, we should issue an apology to Mr. Taylor. I, I, I don't think, I think it's my fault as president of the board. I let this, we, made comments last meeting and uh, should have been out there. Uh, it should have been done in executive session and discuss it. And it wasn't, and that's probably my fault. I didn't have control of the meeting. Uh, but accusations of, uh, against Cindy and against Mike Taylor, they've been proven that, that we did pay it correctly. Uh, I've been through 12 audits here. Danny's probably been through five now and Cindy's been through probably 17 or 18, and we've never, ever, ever had a, a, a charge that we was paying bills improperly or <coughs> rally at any, any uh, uh, accounting practices. And uh, the fact that we, uh, and it, it may have just been, a, you know, was concerned about some, a lot of issues that night. And the proposal he signed was a, a proposal it was not a contract obligating the township. It was a proposal. So I would like to apologize to Mike Taylor, and uh, I, I hope the board feels the same way. And which is, I think, there's been a lot of progress since then. A lot of communication that we never had before, and uh, it's probably a good, good progress.
process. There again, it's for Mike Cindy, I'm sorry. That's it. I'll start with those comments. Okay. So, I just felt like comments were made from the red statement and well, that okay. should have been made in public and I should have stopped it and asked for an executive session. So I'm not blaming anybody, Mike, except myself. I'm not blaming anybody. I'm not blaming if it's right or wrong. I'm just saying that even a couple of people in attendance said you guys shouldn't be talking about this. Mentioning mm -hmm. the name of somebody who's a resident and at that time wasn't even an employee. We would, it was just, I was out of line. I should have kept the meeting under control. Just asked to hold up and go into an executive session. So, well, I would like to clarify that there, there weren't ac accusations. I, I brought up that there were red flags um, that were concerns of mine, and it was those were all proven to be completely accurate. And those with those red flags that I brought up, and that um, again, and these. I want to make it very, very clear that Mr. Taylor and I had a very good meeting and that he described it as a good and productive meeting because once we talked it through and, and, and could see eye to eye, we understood that there were a lot of things that we were both basing on things we heard from others second, third hand, and that if we open up those lines of communication and talk face to face and don't rely on things second, third hand. so. The, when you're talking about receipts, I didn't make any accusations against Mr. Taylor. And really, again, this isn't a personal matter. This is a personal for me, and, and, and we talked about it. This was a personnel matter. That this was a, a business thing. And so I would say that that employee, because if you really, this isn't personal, so let's take the individual out of it. That employee was an employee and was and we require employees to attach receipts for reimbursement, and that employee didn't attach receipts. And so since then, our fiscal officer has talked to that employee and has said going forward that that employee will right. attach receipts. So but whether, is, you know, I am not saying that that employee did anything wrong necessarily. We looked at him as a I'm contractor not saying, more than that employee. But, 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 the, right. the, but it was a red flag, and whether whether this was an issue with that employee, whether this is an issue with our fiscal officer, whether this is an issue with our administrator, whether this is a, a, an issue with the state and how they do their audits, I don't know. I wasn't pointing fingers or making accusations that there was wrongdoing. I'm pointing out that this was a red flag and something that I felt like this board should have gotten to the bottom of before bringing that individual back. The same thing with the proposals. The proposal was signed in December. It was effective January 31st, which became a contract, and that is the contract that we are currently operating under with IMS, the third-party vendor. And so I met with that employee, and again, we had a very good <coughs> conversation, and he said that it is typical for the board um, <coughs> to approve those contracts and that it never came to the board. So he signed it in December and he said that IMS took that as an acceptable authorization. A proposal? Yes. A and proposal's a quote. They should have never correct, but, it was, but it had an effective date. It had an effective date of, December, of January 31st and it went into effect, and that's what they're billing us under. So it is now a contract as of December 31st, or January 31st. So this proposal is really a contract from January 31st going forward into, into today. And so he admitted and said to me, I shouldn't say admit, he discussed and, and we talked about it and said that this was always something that went before the board in the past, that it did not come before the board in this instance, and that he can't, does not have an explanation of why IMS decided that to take it as a final contract, but they did, and that that's what we're operating under. Again, that's not an accusation against that individual, that employee. Is, is it wrongdoing by him to sign it? Is it wrongdoing by IMS to accept it? Is it wrongdoing 
from the board to not have better oversight and understanding of that process. And now that he and I are communicating much better, I, I don't anticipate that happening again. But again, this was a red flag that I brought up. It wasn't directed towards that individual. And now that he and I talked, we all agree that this wasn't about him and I, and he even used the word twice, he used the word principal, and I shouldn't say twice, he used two words, principal and business. And at the conclusion of our meeting, as we're walking out here in the hall, he said that he understands that, um, that I was making my, my decision and my argument of, about whether to rehire this, this individual is a business decision on my principles and my business you know, experience. And so it was very productive, very good, and he understood and said that he was ready to move on, to drop this, to be done with it. And we've had, again, extremely uh, positive interaction ever since. So um, I, so I don't see why we would apologize for something that was a discussion. Well, a spirit of debate. Did not been brought up in public? Okay. Well, okay. In, in the public meeting. Well, and, and I explained that in my correspondence, um, where I said that it, it probably should have come. Even yeah. people in attendance said it shouldn't have. Been. We should have stopped it, right? and we should have. So you're well, telling me that Mike agrees that he took money improperly? Then no, I, I didn't because say it, that at all. It was also talked about the invoice for the TV set and other things that same night. Right. So I, I asked Mike if he took it. I have no idea what you're saying that Cindy shouldn't have paid him for the TV set. Let's move on, I didn't guys. Say that at all. All we right. said we would move on. Okay. All right. So that's my apology. I, like I said, I do apologize to Mike and to Cindy. And that's all I have. Dan? All right, I just got two quick things. We sent out uh, RFQs for the amphitheater, and I'm going to make a motion to accept uh, um, the RFQ for theater from Bear and Becker, and I'm going to make that motion. All right, second one. And that's an RFQ? The correct request for qualification. qualification. Okay. And, and that was for the, I'm sorry, for the amphitheater? The amphitheater was for. And then we also sent out, Mr. Reed sent out RFQs for Whispering Farm, and out of that, we have used, my recommendation to the board is Geotechnology, which they've done several projects in the past for us, and we've been very happy with that company. And I will make a motion that we use geotechnology for Whispering Farm also. So you're moving for both of those now? Uh, yes. Now we need a second to approve those. I'm sorry. I should have waited. Yeah. Sorry. Oh. Well, we can we can incorporate it. Are you moving to accept RFQ for amphitheater, Bear and Becker, RFQ for geotechnology for Whispering Park? Correct. So, unless you guys want it separated. Do you want to separate? That's the other reason. Then I'll make a motion that uh, we accept both of them. Yeah. I'll second. Mr. Blanton? Yes. Mr. Reiner? Yes. Mr. Robinson? Yes. And then. I'm going to make a motion. Wait, 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 two seconds. Well, oh, three minutes. Okay, all right, go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to make a, this is my last issue here. I'm going to make a motion that we're going to rehire Dan Reed as our Lane Township Administrator on a temporary basis at the same level of pay to part time um, hours until from now to the middle of August. And I don't have an exact date on that. Uh, but if we can use the 15th, since that's the middle, or 15th or 16th, whatever it is, so we'll use the 15th. Yeah, 15th and a half. So until August 15th. Uh, it's, yeah, are you going to say up to? Because up to he August 15th. Can you right. say yeah. that whatever the other like job and all that stuff that he might want to? That's fine. Okay. We can yeah. say up to August 15th. Yeah, because he may choose until. to, you know. To be well, I'll make that a motion and we're starting uh, Monday? 22nd. Starting Monday the 22nd. Here it is. Just so you know that. Here, so you I sign that. I need a second on that. I'll second it. 
You, Jack? Yes. Mr. Blanton? Yes. Mr. Reiner? Yes. Mr. Robinson? Yes. That's all I have. Can I ask one question? About this? Uh, no. Dan? No. We're past it. Okay, cool. All right. I mean, did you have more, Dan? No, I'm done. No, okay. Thank you. I'm done. Um, so it has been told to me that you, that Mr. Rinegar, Trustee Rinegar, shared the content of the conversation of the executive session on January 18th meeting with that employee we were just talking about, which precipitated him to resign the next day. Um, did that happen? I don't recall that, but I could have. Because we didn't, we were in an executive session on Mike Taylor. We, we, we were, yeah, we, we talked about that in an executive session, and then no, no, no. It, and it, he indicated that, that after hearing what was shared, that that resulted in him submitting his resignation. That occurred. It could have. I told him. I may have told him if you wanted to bring somebody in here to look at the IT. But that was long after I, I was told that he was going to quit because the word on the street was that uh, he wasn't supposed to be working and and he was afraid he was going to be uh, caught working and take the master of the And. I think you're going to find that executive session is not privileged information. She can't record. I, I didn't record anything. I, I, mean, I don't mean you, I mean anybody. You can't record it, but you can. It's not, it's, it, it's public information. Well, according to our attorney, it, he said that it is, quote, very inappropriate and extremely problematic to share anything that is in executive session and that while he would have to do a thorough investigation to figure out whether there was any criminal acts or ethics violations as it relates to a conversation that was shared in executive session when we went into executive session for personnel contracts and this was a personnel matter that he said that that act defeats the purpose of having an executive session if there's not by understanding that you're all respecting the need to keep things confidential and that therefore it would be appropriate to just have open discussions and open meetings because if no one, if, if the board is not going to respect the need to keep those uh, conversations confidential, then there's no reason to even have executive sessions. I, I thought your email, you put in your email that we're moving forward. I, 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 and, and I was too, and then this was brought up. This was a very positive meeting. We what? talked about firefighters being promoted. Meeting. We were talking, we're talking about great events and everything else. Right now. And, and then, and I don't understand that when we, you, you're the one that initiated the email that you wanted to move forward. And that you Jack to apologized email. on the record and asked the president of the board. He you. said, "Ten." Well, well a, a lawyer just left here. Why don't you meet up then? Huh? understand that. You should have brought it up then. We could have talked about I mean, it. We could have talked about it. And when, and when he comes to me and talks to me about it, then I'll talk to him. But I thought that's what the whole email was about, and, and you asked for input, and I thought that's what the email represented. That's what my take on it was. And I don't know why we're, we're going through this. Well, because the topic was brought up again, and it was, it was an apology from me as a board member. I didn't say you, I didn't say Dan, I said from me. Okay. Well, I, I just, again, this was an extremely positive meeting up until that meeting. point. And, and this was, again, we're talking about firefighters, we're talking about great events, we're talking about um, co good communication and how everyone is, is moving forward. And then um, we're bringing that up. But anyway, I will. Um, 
conclude my remarks and I will make a motion for uh, that we uh, um, that we adjourn. Go ahead. I'll second. All right, Mr. Layton. Yes. Mr. Reiniger. Yes. Mr. Robinson. Yes.